what's up YouTube Houston here. Look, if you're trying to get a credit limit increase, okay, on your credit cards, I'm going to show you the easiest credit cards to do that with. Now, I'm also going to show you a strategy if you have credit card debt, showing you how to actually pay down your credit card debt, even if you have bad credit, all right? I'm going to recommend some places that you can go to. Now, the first thing, talking about the credit limit increase, and which is the easiest credit card. So, you have the Apple card, okay? Now, with the Apple card, here's the thing about it, I tell you guys. Um, I made a video showing you how to do the credit card hack, okay, where I explain about how to freeze your credit report and then do a pre-approval pre and then re uh, uh, open to unfreeze your credit report, right? Now, in terms of the Apple card, here's the thing about it. It's a Goldman Sachs card. Also, Goldman Sachs does one other thing. They offer a GM card. Okay, so if you have a GM card, you can do the same credit limit increase on that card as well. The easiest card to go after is the Apple card to get in their database and then get the GM card. Now, they pull TransUnion, okay, FICO 9, all right. Now, in terms of a credit limit increase, once you have the card, you can do a credit limit increase every 90 days all right some people try to do it every 60 days or whatever but here's the key to doing that in reference to apple i would pay down the debt all right well i would pay down my small revolving debt so that means like if you have bills say that you have bills from a hundred up to a thousand okay so I would play it down my, uh, focus on your revolving debt, not your uh, loans, okay? Your revolving debt. I would pay those down to about zero or under 10% before I go for this line of credit. Because with Apple, as long as you have a six, about a 660, they'll do a credit limit increase, okay? And the easiest way to do that is through the app, right? So. That's the reason I'm telling you this. Now, in terms of finding money to pay down that debt so that you can get larger limits of credit cards, what I would uh, suggest you do if you work in a, a job, a W-2 job, is I would file exempt, okay? And I would do that for at least four months. This is going to give you enough extra income to pay down your credit card debt, all right? Another thing you can do is uh, skip a car payment. Skip a car payment. So with most lenders like Nissan, Ford, uh, big uh, major lenders and stuff, what they would do, Infinity, what they would do, they would take your car payment and put it on the back end. All right, so that would maybe free you up maybe $750, maybe $1,000 that you can help pay down your credit card debt to help get you that credit limit increase. All right, now, there's other uh, creditors out there, even if you have challenging credit, that will give you funding, all right, to help you pay down your credit card debt, and we're going to talk about that, but let's get back to these uh, credit card increases, all right, now. You have Amex, okay? So Amex being the second one. Here's the thing about Amex. Amex is a real stickler on income, all right? The most important thing about Amex is income. A lot of people think, oh, having a great credit score, perfect credit score, 720, N not necessary, okay? Their big thing is making sure you have good, stable income. All right, so when you're trying to do a credit line increase, one of the things about it with Amex, you usually want to do up to three times your limit. Do not go over that, okay? Do not go over that, up to three times your limit. Because I'm going to tell you something that most people don't explain to you, that if you go over your credit line request limit, all right, they may say, okay, 
uh, we have to get back to you in seven days. Now, usually in seven days, that means they may approve you, okay? But if they tell you, well, you'll get a notice from us within 30 days, if it's 30 days, more likely they're going to deny you. So either they're going to instantly approve you or they said give us seven days or 30 days. All right. You're going to have three of those options. So that's very important for you to understand in terms of when you're trying to get credit limit increases or even new credit cards. Speaking of new credit cards, an easier way with American Express, if you're trying to get a credit limit increase, is to apply for a new credit card. That's right, apply for a new credit card may be much easier than getting that credit line increase. Now, there's one other thing you can do, and they have a temp, temporary credit line increase. So, say that you're trying to um, purchase like a large item or something, or you're trying to plan for a trip, and your credit card is... Um, doesn't allow you to do that. You can ask them for a temporary credit line increase. Okay, most people don't even know about that one, but you can ask for a temporary credit line increase where they're willing to work with you. All right, now that being said about American Express, one of the things that you do need to know about American Express when going for American Express, they do pull FICO 8. Fake it, FICO 8, and usually experience or TransUnion when you first start out with them. But after 90 days, like say that they give you $1,000, after 90 days of good payment history, then you can apply for a higher limit increase. But make sure that your other uh, credit cards or revolving accounts are paid down under 10%. So that way when you say, hey, is it possible I can get a um, $5,000 or $10,000 limit or whatever, now, because you don't have that high DTI, debt to income ratio, now they're willing to work with you to give you that higher limit. All right, so that's with American Express. The next one is Discover. Now with Discover, there's usually a six months to request a, a credit limit increase. Now, another thing about Discover, they will do an automatic uh, credit limit increase without you even asking. Usually on an automatic increase, they probably give you anywhere from 5,000 maybe to 1,500, okay, without you actually asking, all right? So that's what it is with the credit limit increase with uh, Discover. Now Discover, they do, they will, it will be a soft pull if you request it after six months, okay? And it's usually experience. Sometimes they may pull your Equifax, but most of the time it's experience. And I have seen people with a six, it was usually like maybe about a, a 679 or something like that, that they gave them a credit card. And that's with, with them having like a recent charge off. Okay, that's with them having a recent charge off. So again, like I said, this is the way that you work it in terms of trying to get a, a higher limit uh, credit card, higher uh, credit card increase, okay, excuse me. Now, you also have Citibank. They will do, uh, if you request it through the app, okay, sometimes you can do it on the phone. Most of the time, they encourage you to do it through the app, but if you do it through the app, if it's instant credit line increase, it's a softball. Again, we talked about the seven day, 30 day, seven days, they may do a hard pull or the 30 days, they definitely gonna do a hard pull, okay? So that's with Citibank. Now with Citibank, again, it is a FICO, FICO 8, and they may pull Experian or Equifax, okay? Now, here's the thing about it with, with a Capital One. They will do a credit limit increase every six months and they uh, do it on an automatic as well. There is a way that you can do the hack to get a credit limit increase with them as well, all right? But again, the things you have to remember is the best way to get that credit limit increase is to pay down your smallest revolving debt that's going to lower your DTI. Now, some of the lenders that you may want to see if you uh, qualify, all right? So that way you don't have to worry about that hard inquiry. Now, 
Another thing that may get you disqualified from a credit limit increase, if you apply to, uh, for too many new accounts at the same time, all right? Just like with uh, Chase has the 524, if you apply for too many accounts at the same time, these banks will automatically deny you even on a credit limit increase, all right? So this is Houston with three-way funding. If you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, or removing negative items off of your credit, click the link in the description and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.